Hello YouTube, today I'm taking a look at this 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn. Uh, this is their beautiful red color. Uh, this particular model has the halogen uh, headlights. Uh, this one does not come with tow hooks or uh, parking sensors. However, it does have the 5.7 liter Hemi as well as the 8 speed automatic transmission and chrome 20 inch wheels. Uh, I can't see the tire size at the moment. Let's see if I can find it real quick. There it is, 275-55 R20. Uh, you have these nice splash guards with plastic to protect uh, the rocker panels against chips and corrosion. There's your Ram badge. There's your puddle lights, as well as your trailer tow mirrors. Um, a lot of people don't like when you have them up and you're not towing anything, but um, you do have way greater visibility um, with them up like this, especially in your blind spot. This absolutely beautiful bright red. Again, halogen tail lamps, dual exhaust. You do, however, have LED um, license plate lights. Here's your standard four pin and seven pin connectors. Your four x four badge and your big horn badge, as well as the new Ram logo and your backup camera. Standard bed. This color is just absolutely beautiful. It absolutely pops. There's your 5.7 Hemi badge. Let's take a uh, closer look at the interior of the vehicle. Starting out on the left hand side, you have all of your window control buttons as well as your um, adjustable mirror buttons. Something to note um, on the lower trim, such as the big horn, uh, and I believe lower, um, the blind spot mirror or trailer mirror, that is uh, manual adjust. Uh, you don't have a button to adjust that in here. Um, this being the big horn, um, you have this pretty standard generic uh, trim that goes throughout. You have this nice uh, silver looking uh, bezels, again, that continue throughout the uh, interior of the truck. Down here we have all of your lighting buttons. Uh, this for the uh, dome map lights, I believe. And then this one for the um, instrument cluster. So as you can see, um, I turned it all the way down. I have almost no lighting. Switch it back up and it's extremely bright. To the left, uh, we have the electronic parking brake. And then we have the power adjustable pedals. Coming up to the instrument cluster, we have your tachometer on the left, speedometer on the right, with various gauges to monitor different parameters. We have a three inch LCD screen in the middle, I believe. Working our way back, we have a leather wrapped steering wheel, very soft, um, FCA pretty much does a great job on all the steering wheels, um, all very soft leather. This control pad right here controls the LCD screen in the middle. To the right of that, we have your hands-free call buttons. Over on this side, we have your cruise control buttons and your gear limiter right here. Just like on all FCA vehicles, on the back of the steering wheel on the left side, we have your seek or scan feature. And on the back of the right side, we have your volume up and down. This vehicle does have push button start. Uh, I believe all new 2019 Rams have that uh, feature. Up top we have a little storage tray right here with a 12 volt outlet, perfect for dash cams or um, radar detectors. We have the new updated Uconnect touchscreen, um, which is way more responsive than the outgoing Uconnect, and it is um, way better than the competition in my opinion. Um, this vehicle also does have uh, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, so if your phone has that feature, um, you're good to go. Um, this screen is absolutely extremely high definition. I'm gonna put it in reverse real quick just to show you. I mean, that picture quality almost looks like a 4K TV. 
Um, again, media, climate, navigation, all that. Uh, down here below that we have your physical buttons for the audio, your volume button and your tune button. Mute and your screen off, so if you're driving at night and there's too much glare coming from the touchscreen, push that button and uh, the screen will turn off. In the middle, hazards, pretty self-explanatory. Down here we have all of your physical buttons for the dual zone climate control. Over here to the left of that we have your rotary dial uh, shifter. And then we have your uh, electronic push button transfer case selection right here. Integrated trailer brake control, which is awesome. Traction control off, on, and then indicated again up here on the instrument cluster. And then your tow haul mode, again, indicated under the speedo needle. Below that we have your compact disc CD reader. Two USB ports, two USB-C ports, and an auxiliary port. Right here we have your phone storage tray. Underneath here we have a pretty nice size storage compartment. This center console is adjustable. I believe it's 12 position adjustable, maybe six. I don't, I don't remember, don't quote me specifically. But we do have two cup holders here, as well as change organization and a storage tray. You move that back, gives you access to the very deep storage compartment. We do have a dual tiered um, armrest slash storage compartment. First tier, very shallow, comes with a USB port and a dimple for cord management. Second portion gives you access to the, again, massive storage compartment. Um, if you look closely down there, You'll see that there's the previous generation of Ram trucks that does fold up, kind of um, partitioning two areas if you want to keep stuff separate. And then on the back of this, you have trigonomic ratios, angles, um, fraction to decimal chart, all sorts of stuff. Ram did a really good job <laughs> putting that there. That's actually a really cool little Easter egg for you. Coming over to the passenger seat, again, pretty standard, being the Bighorn. Uh, you do have two sort of glove compartments in this vehicle. Uh, the first one being here, push this button, it opens, it is also lit. Second one being the regular glove compartment. You do have halogen lit vanity for the passenger and driver. Up here, we have your dome lighting controls. We have your um, button for your rear window, slider that does open and close. And then your SOS and assist buttons. Then you have glasses, storage right here. Standard rear view mirror, I believe it's auto dimming. And then right up here, if that'll focus, you have your three door universal garage remote. Um, this truck is really awesome. Um, I've always said the Bighorn is definitely the, the best bang for your buck. Uh, you get a lot of um, standard features at a really competitive price. The exterior color, the red, it just, it just pops. Um, really overall, very impressed, especially with the new Uconnect touchscreen display. Let's see how much legroom we have in the rear seats. Before I get in, I wanna show you how easy it is to fold up these seats for more storage. Um, one hand, underneath, and it folds up. Uh, something to note also, this particular one does come with Ram's uh, floor liners, which as you can see is lipped. So that way, if you do spill water, coffee, or you get mud back here, you can easily take it out and hose it down. Also, you do have Ram's um, in storage floor bins. This is their second generation, slightly bigger than the outgoing 2018 model year. Uh, you do have, they are also removable. And you also have centimeters on the short side and inches on the long side if you need to use this to help measure something. There we go. Getting in is real easy. You got grab handles on the rear as well as up front on both sides. With the driver's seat situated where it would be if I was driving, I'd say I have a solid 10 inches of legroom. Uh, I'm 5'11", if that helps anybody. You do have storage in the form of pouches behind the driver and passenger seat. Cup holders, um, what I really like that Ram did too is they offered this, 
these cutouts, which is perfect for pretty much any size tablet. So um, you wanna play a movie for the kids, stick the tablet here, and three of them can watch. Storage cubby right here, as well as heating and cooling vents for the rear passengers. Again, pretty basic cloth interior. Uh, this center uh, seat does fold down into a armrest slash cup holder. And then you got your dome lights up top, as well as your hanger hooks. Let's take a so on this particular Bighorn, the only way to really access the bed is to come up to it and push the button. Um, on some of the higher trims, you'll actually get that option on the key fob itself, but easy enough. This one is not assisted. However, it being aluminum, it is extremely light. Let's take a quick look at the... Here's a closer look at the window sticker on this vehicle. Again, it's a 2019 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab 4x4. The base price is $42,095. All of your standard equipment is in this area right here. Your optional equipment starts here and transfers down over into this side, bringing the total price of this vehicle to $49,945. Your fuel economy ratings are right here. This vehicle is rated at 15 miles per gallon city, 21 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 17 miles per gallon. Again, this is the window sticker. Um, depending on current rebates and incentives, um, you shouldn't be paying $49,945 for this vehicle, especially if you uh, get it during the Ram truck month or the Ram spring sales event. Again, I'd like to thank Ziegler Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough on this vehicle. If you're interested in any of the new Ram 15 or 2500 models, I will be putting all the contact info in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.